Hi, I'm Paul and in today's video we're focusing on improving our note workflow. If you're an Obsidian user who loves YAML properties but hates how distracting they look, this video is for you. I'll show you a quick way to hide and reveal properties without breaking your focus, making your notes cleaner and more visually pleasing. Join me as we solve this visual distraction. The problem with the default properties view. If you watched my YAML properties video, you will know how powerful they are for organizing your notes with data view. In my previous video, I announced Obsidian's new exciting core plugin, Bases, which brings native databases to Obsidian. To make Obsidian Bases work effectively, we need to ensure that YAML properties are added to our notes. But there's one annoying problem. Obsidian only lets you set properties to visible, hidden, or source view. There's no way to keep them accessible, but out of sight until you need them. This forces you to choose between your constant visual clutter or losing quick access to your properties. Let me show you what I'm talking about and then we can look at some solutions. Showcasing solutions. Recently I've been using the web clipper to capture some Blinkist books and I've got one here in front of me called The Laws of Human Nature by Robert Greene. So we can see here that I've got some YAML properties here on this note. In order to make changes to this note, I have to come up and click the little down arrow to hide the YAML properties and then scroll down and make changes to my note. I also have to do this if I want to see what's in the note. So another option I can do is I can come into the settings and then head up to the editor and there's a option here called properties in document. So I can change that to hidden. Now my properties are no longer shown at the top. To access my properties, I'd have to open up the right pane and select the properties view and make changes to my YAML properties here. Now, this might be okay for some people, but if you're working in your note and you're not sure if you've got YAML properties, then you have to open up the right pane and have a look for them. And then when you wanna add a property, you actually have to add it here or use the command palette. So there's no quick way to peek or add YAML properties easy when you're focused in on your note. So let's have a look in the settings and have a look at our other options. So there's an option here to toggle source mode. Now, if we see the source mode, we can see a little arrow, but we still have to click the arrow to show our YAML properties and then click it again. But then if we navigate to another note, it's open by default, which is not ideal. So we still need to go up and toggle it closed. So that's not going to solve our clutter issue either. Let's look at a couple of solutions that we can use to solve this problem. So the first one is we can navigate to community plugins, select browse, and then type in fold properties. You'll notice this community plugin called fold properties by default, and it was last updated five months ago and Tommy echoes my frustration that there's no way to fold YAML properties by default and Tommy thinks that this should be implemented as a built-in option and I have to agree with him 100%. So Tommy's come up with just a simple plugin where if we hit install, it installs the plugin and we just need to hit enable. And then by doing that, when we click into our note now, by default, our YAML properties are hidden. And then if we need to make changes or have a peek, we can come up and click our arrow and make our changes and then click again. That's going to be a good solution for a lot of people. Personally, I don't like relying on another community plugin to do something as simple as hiding YAML properties. So I'll show you the method that I'm using. So I'm gonna come back into community plugins and I'm gonna scroll down. I'm just going to remove that plugin that I just installed. Then I'm gonna head up to my appearance tab and scroll down. And down at the bottom here, I have a CSS snippet called hide properties and it's located in the vault dot obsidian snippets folder and it's currently toggled off so if we jump into visual studio code we can have a look at that hide properties dot css file and it's just a simple css snippet that hides the 
properties inside Obsidian by default. And then when you roll over it, it shows the properties and I'll show you what that looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and toggle it back on in Obsidian and I'm gonna go back into my note. You'll notice that little arrow is gone now, but if I roll over properties, I can have a look at the YAML properties and I can go and make changes. And if I roll outside of that, it closes by default. If I jump into another note, you can see the YAML properties are hidden by default. And if I roll over, they show, and if I roll out, they hide. So this is a good CSS snippet in my opinion, because if you're focused on working on a note and you wanna quickly check your YAML properties or make a change, you can. And when you finish, you just roll out and keep working on your note. So this gives us two solutions to solve our cluttered YAML properties issue. If you're interested in the hide properties CSS snippet, head over to my Ko-Fi page and I'll leave a link in the description. You can download this for free. Once you've downloaded the snippet, all you need to do is navigate to your .obsidian folder, create a snippets folder if you don't have one already, and then copy that file into that folder. So you can see I've got it here listed as hideproperties.css. Then inside Obsidian, go to settings, select appearance, scroll the way down and toggle on the hide properties. And if you ever decide that you don't want to use it, you can either toggle it off or delete it from the snippets folder. There you have it. Now you can hide and reveal your YAML properties with ease, keeping your Obsidian notes clean and your focus sharp. Give it a try and see how much better your workflow feels. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.